best method to put a hip replacement in is you know, making sure that number one, the parts are put in properly aligned and they're put in safely. You know, there's different approaches for hip replacements and probably the most common version of approaches are a posterior approach where someone comes in from behind your hip and goes through the gluteus maximus muscle versus coming in from an anterior type approach. You know, just the story of my residency where I did training, every surgeon I worked with did a posterior approach. And probably the most common complication of a hip after that surgery is where the ball and socket dislocate. And it always dislocates out the back of the hip. So a posterior approach puts the hip at a little higher risk of dislocations, even if the parts are put in properly aligned. That during my fellowship, my trainers taught me an anterior approach, which during that full year, <clears throat> not one time did I put a hip back in place. So not one hip dislocated during my fellowship, which we did thousands of hips. And I was doing, putting hips back in the emergency room in my residency every time I was on call. So it taught me real quick without reading a journal or, mm. or learning how to do anything, that if I have my hip done, an anterior approach is a much safer way to go so you when don't it comes do to dislocation. The the posterior approach. So the all. posterior approach is still a great approach. Posterior. It's probably the easiest way to learn how to do a hip. It's still probably one of the easier ways to put a hip in. It's a little technically challenging to do these anterior approaches, but the long-term safety of dislocations are basically zero. I, I do in this state about as many hip replacements as anyone in the state, and I've yet to have a primary hip dislocate. 